Rich Picks Daily is an online community for traders to exchange smart, straightforward, and profitable investment ideas. And join us today at richpicksdaily.com. Subscribe to us on YouTube to learn useful stock trading secrets and discover the next 10 bagger. Hi, how are you doing today? I am your host, Rich, here on behalf of Rich TV Live with my very special guest, Galen McNamara. How are you doing today, Galen? I'm good, Rich. Thanks for having me on your show. Always a pleasure, my friend. Thank you for joining us. Very excited to learn more about your company and introduce it to our community, our global community of investors. Let's get started, Galen, and maybe you can tell us a little bit about yourself and how you got involved with Summa Silvercorp. Sure, sounds good, Rich. So, yeah, myself personally, I'm a geologist going back about 15 years. Oh, wow. uh, I'm one of the founders of Summa Silver. Uh, and Summa is a deal we put together about a year ago now, um, really concentrating on some of these historic mining districts that haven't seen any modern exploration just because there's a blueprint for success there. Uh, putting this deal together, I, I really spent like two years of my life looking for a project. You know, these were the times that you know, 2018, 2019 were really dark days in the precious metals sector, but, you know, I didn't need a day job uh, and I could really spend a lot of time, you know, just searching through projects and, and calling through things until I came to something I really, really liked, which is where we're at right now uh, in Summa Silver. Uh, before doing that, I was running all the drilling for a company called NextGen Energy. Uh, and we, of course, had some very large and high grade uranium discoveries in Canada. So, uh, coming out of that, you know, I'm putting my entrepreneur's hat on, which is something that's always been, um, you know, comes naturally to me, but also something I'm very passionate about. Um, and so Summa Silver is my first deal. Uh, and here we are a year later, we've raised $23 million. Uh, wow. And we're just diligently exploring away on two of our projects. That's fantastic. Congratulations on all your success. Thank, you, thank uh, you. Well, it's just the start. You know, this is just the first, you know, the very first steps in a deal that, you know, I'm, I'm putting all of my life into and all of my passion into. I love it. I love to hear that. And you're a young CEO and this is your first project. And I'm assuming you're going to do everything in your power to make sure it's a huge success. Cause I know that's what I would be doing if I was creating my first public company. So really excited to see what you guys are going to be able to do and to be able to raise $23 million. That's pretty impressive. So congratulations. That's, that's no small feat. Now, can you tell us what some of your main goals are for 2021 for Summa Silver Corp? So, you know, the goals for 2021 with Summa Silver are, are basically, you know, drill, baby, drill. You know, we're going to be looking at some very, very strong news flow for this entire year. Uh, and because we've, we've raised the capital, you know, we're fully loaded for bear to really explore our projects. And, you know, we know that we've got a tiger by the tail on both of these projects. And, and we know that we've got some very significant zones of mineralization on them. But the thing is, we're probably only just scratching the surface so far. So this year is about trying to figure out what we have on our hands uh, via drilling. Fantastic. Now, Summa Silver Corp recently announced some drill results for high-grade Hughes Silver Gold property. Can you go through those drill results for us and what it means for the company? Yeah. So, you know, that was the third set of results we've put out. Um, there's still several holes pending. And these are all results from 2020 on just one of our projects, just our first project. And what we found so far is that you know, we're working in an old Wild West mining district that hasn't seen much of modern exploration. And just to keep things really simple, you know, there's an old saying in geology and exploration, and, and it goes like this. It's, it's the best place to find a new mine is right next to an old mine. So we're not Absolutely. really trying to reinvent the, reel in that, reinvent the wheel in that regard. Um, but what we are trying to do is, is really explore in a modern way one of these famous old mining districts in the Tonopah, uh, Nevada area. Uh, and the results last year were very, very strong, you know, over, a, over quite a long of uh, quite a large area, we found results that were greater than a thousand grams per ton silver equivalent, wow. um, which is much higher than the average mine grade. So there's obviously a lot of juice left to squeeze in this old district, you know, so this year, we're just trying to see what we've got, you know, what we could have on our hands, uh, based on those very, very high grade drill results from last year. You know, and, and me, I like to, I like to think really big, um, you know, one thing as a geo, you know, for me, that's been really helpful is I've been able to work on a couple of big wins, you know, next gen being one of them. Um, so what that teaches you as a geo is it really gives you that sense of scale. So, you know, to boil it all down, you know, you really, for me, I really have to look for the biggest things, you know, go big or go or go home or, you know, why, why bother? Why waste time? Speaking of go big or go home. 
Suma Silver recently announced that it raised $10.16 million through a private placement financing, which included investment silver icon Eric Sprott. That's as big as it gets. So can you give us a breakdown of what those funds will be used for and how much money does the company have on its balance sheet today? Sure, sure. Well, well, first of all, you know, I'm, I'm very grateful to have uh, Mr. Sprott's support and we are as, as a company. He's actually participated in all three of our financings. Wow. Uh, and has invested $8 million into the company in total. So he owns 18% of SUMA. Wow. Um, but, in, but in terms of, you know, plans for, for cash that's on the books, I mean, we've got between 13 and $13.5 million in the bank right now. Great. So like I was saying, you know, we're fully loaded and, and ready to rock and roll for a very uh, aggressive year, uh, drilling both in Nevada uh, and also in our second project in New Mexico. And that second project in New Mexico is not one that that I think uh, has seen much limelight. It's another one of these famous old Wild West districts. And, you know, uh, myself and the, and the geologists in the field are, are really excited about getting to work here and drilling a lot of silver this year. That's great. Now, the mining industry over the last couple of years has been on a tear yeah. and it's been extremely competitive to get those investor dollars. Now, what sets you guys apart at Suma Silver, Suma Silver Corp from your competitors in the mining space in this very competitive industry? Yeah, yeah. You know, you, I think it's a few reasons. I think number one, uh, st good silver projects are really hard to find. Good high grade silver projects are really hard to find. So that's number one. Uh, number two, you know, we have a, a U.S. focus. Uh, and don't get me wrong, I love a lot of the other silver companies. I'm a shareholder of many companies in, say, Peru or in Mexico. But Nevada is the number one mining jurisdiction in the world. Um, and, and we're really concentrating in Nevada. So I think those two things there have really helped uh, set, us, set us apart, for sure. Now, in order to build a successful company, you need a successful team. Can you go through the team at Suma Silver and what each person brings to the table? Yeah, yeah. So if that's a really good point because, you know, I, I'm the face of this thing, but, you know, I'm representing, you know, a, a group of, of professionals that are very passionate about discovery. Uh, and it, just because it's my turn to wear the hat this time. Uh, so myself, I'm a geologist. Um, Martin Bajic is, a, is the CFO and he's a guy that helped me put the deal together from the start. So, you know, he liked it so much that he wanted to stay on as CFO and director. Uh, then we've got our technical advisor, Garrett Ainsworth. Uh, he's a gentleman and a very well-known geologist. Um, and we work together very closely at NextGen. So he's a technical advisor on Suma Silver, uh, and I'm a technical advisor on his deal called District Metals. Uh, Christopher Leslie, uh, senior geo. Uh, Chris works with me here in Vancouver, and he's one of the guys that actually discovered the Blackwater gold deposit here in BC, which wow. is now 8.2 million ounces in the proven and probable categories. Um, guys in the field, too, in the U.S. are also, are also key, key individuals for us. Um, there's a gentleman by the name of Chris York that, uh, that just joined us from Hecla Mining, uh, and, and he has extensive experience in, man experience in managing very, very large exploration programs. Um, and then my board of directors is also, you know, is, is also very strong in that. We've got Michael Connert, um, young up-and-coming mining CEO, uh, very, very passionate about uh, being entrepreneurial and, and about mining. So he's the He's the co-founder of Vizsla Resources and also the CEO. And they're a very, very high profile and successful uh, Mexican focused silver company. Uh, and then our, our, other, our other director, Thomas O'Neill, um, he's in the insurance business here in Vancouver. And he's another guy that really was instrumental in putting this together. Um, and again, like the deal so much that he decided to stay on. Uh, finally, our, our fourth director is Brian Gauze. Uh, Brian owns a geological consulting outfit at, down in Nevada, um, and he really helps us execute the field programs because, you know, it's very difficult for me to be traveling back and forth now. And for us in Vancouver, to be traveling back and forth now due to the, to the current um, COVID thing. Um, but of course, you know, we've, we've operated down there without, uh, without, any, major, without any major delays um, because of the team we have down in, in the U.S. as well. So that's, that's the team in a nutshell, Rich. I like the team. And quite a few companies and members that you mentioned that have actually been on our show. We've actually talked about Vizsla Resources. So I know Michael and um, very impressive, very impressive guy and very impressive company. So you have a very strong team there that you've assembled. It's uh, very impressive. Now here at Rich TV Live, we're a global community of investors and we love tightly held companies. That's part of the rich system. 
tight share structures, low floats, companies yeah. that are very responsible. Can you talk a little bit about your share structure at Suma Silver and how the company plans to attract more institutional investors and big time investors like Eric Sprott? Sure, sure. So that's a really good point you make about structure. You know, for me, structure is everything. Um, so we've got 61 million shares outstanding, 77 million fully diluted. Clear. And you know what? It's something that we highlighted from the very beginning as being very important. Um, and like and like you're saying, it's it's really is. That's another thing that helps you know set us apart from you know some of the other companies out there. Uh, in that, hey, we're a new company. The structure is very tight, and it's something that I personally take very seriously. So it's you know we're going to really really work on it, continuing to be tight because that's really the best way for I think shareholders to to see the best returns. Um, and then in terms of, you know, attracting investment, we were very, very um, successful in drawing in institutional investors right from the beginning, because like I was saying before, hey, it's really hard to find quality U.S. silver, silver um, yeah. districts, silver properties. Um, so that was, a, that was, I think, a really attractive part of our pitch to begin with. But going forward now, you know, now we've got to uh, now we've got to prove what we have, which is really what we're doing. So going forward, I think the focus is going to be on in addition to keeping the share structure very tight on the drill results. So I'm gonna be pushing very, very hard this year to be as aggressive as we can on both of our properties. Very good, that's what I like to hear. If there was one thing that you'd want shareholders to know about Suma Silver Corp today, what would it be? You, you know what? Uh, I just get the feeling that, you know, in, in general, in the precious metals markets that we're on the cusp of something, you know, it's like the calm before the storm. So, you know, for me, I'm, I'm acting accordingly. You know, now is when we're preparing a very, very strong results-based program this year on both of our projects that I think, you know, if the timing is correct, like I, I get the feeling like it is, you know, there's going to be a lot of results as we're going into a very strong precious metals market. Um, and you know what? We're a U.S.-focused uh, company with properties in the best mining jurisdictions in the world. Uh, so that's really what, what my main takeaway is for SUMA right now. And, and, you know, I want to scream it from the rooftops, you know, what I think is coming and all the things we're going to be doing this year. Um, so yeah, look for more news in the not too distant future for sure. That's great. We love news here at Rich TV Live. Now, investors are going to see this interview. They're going to see this video. They're going to want to get in contact with you, yeah. potentially join venture partners. Many other mining companies that we've had on our show are going to see this interview may want to get in contact with you. What's the for best sure. way for them to reach you? So, you know, we're on LinkedIn at Suma Silver on LinkedIn. We're on Twitter at Suma Silver on Twitter. Um, you can always email us uh, info at Suma Silver uh, or, or you could also just reach out to me, me directly. You know, I'm on Twitter you know, at Galen McNamara. Uh, and uh, I, I respond pretty much to everyone that uh, gets in touch with me, which doesn't really happen very often, but I actually welcome communication with shareholders and, uh, uh, I'm going to go out of my way to uh, to answer anyone's questions as best as I can. That's perfect. Well, thank you for joining us on Rich TV Live today. Galen McNamara, the CEO of Suma Silver Corp. Great. Thanks very much, Rich. Now, remember, guys, before you guys buy anything or invest in anything that we talk about, please do your due diligence, do your research. Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes consult a financial advisor. Chances are, if you consult a financial advisor, financial advisor is going to say, where'd you get that pick? You can okay. say for my boy, Rich, and they're going to say, I like the pick. I like this pick, guys. If you like this video, please smash the like button, comment down below, share the video, and subscribe if you're alive. If you're not winning, you're not watching, it's your boy, Rich, from Rich to be Live. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank you for joining us. Galen, always a pleasure. Love to invite you back if you ever have any big breaking news. And have you back on the show. Sounds like a plan. Sign me up. <laughs> and for those of you guys that are watching at home, thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day, everybody.